here. <laughs> oh, look at that first try. Uh, we have Pokemon Black 2. <laughs> and we are playing it uh, fully all the way through. However, um, there's a little caveat. We're not taking any damage at all. Uh, we're allowed to save at every single gym leader, except if we do take damage, we have to reset to that gym leader. Uh, so if you can probably um, see, we're, we're about, I think, 17 hours in, 18 hours in. Uh, what was the actual uh, thing? It was, um, oh my god, I lost it already. Jesus Christ, what is today? Um, it was 17 hours. We're 17 hours in and almost at the third gym leader. Yeah! Woohoo! Almost 17 hours in, and we're almost at the third gym. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You'll see. You'll see why in a second. It's kind of insane what we're doing here. Um, and I'm excited. Also, hey, if you've never played Pokemon Black 2 ever, me either. <laughs> it's my first time too. Yeah, so so this is my uh, this is my first playthrough of the game. Uh, we're kind of uh, going through it together, and I'm doing it without taking any damage. There we go. All right. Pokemon Black Two. Uh, Burn Butterfly, thanks for the 20 months. Uh, PX Loon, thanks for the two months. Big Papa for Darwin, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Crimson Sunset with the Prime Gaming. The Real Zabix with 20 months. Tanji, thanks for the Prime. Sunbird, thanks for the Prime. Pringles, thanks for the Prime. Oh my god! Thank you guys. Appreciate it a lot. Thanks for all the follows too. Uh, we're going to continue our game. I think, uh, if I just do this, this should suffice. There it is! There it is! Ha ha ha! Nova, thanks for 100 bits as well. Ooh, look at us. All right, let's take a look at our Pokemon real quick. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so you can see it clearly here. So let me show you our team before we get into everything uh, so far. So keep in mind, this is um, without uh, taking any damage. We've gotten all the way here. I mean, we have like 158 resets. Um, but <laughs> with the 158 resets, um, we have gotten to this point. So we have a level 30... Per loin, a level 29 uh, Duwat, a level 5 Riolu, uh, 24 uh, Tranquil, and a level 24 Growlithe. So kind of fun, right? Uh, we're currently leveling up our DMCA, aka our Purloin. Um, we can go all the way to the third gym. Like, it's totally doable. It's, it's super easy. We can get to the third gym. However... Um, after doing some, um, where is it? Wait for it. Pause champ. After doing some math, <laughs> you know, after doing some classic sort of, uh, calculations with all of our Pokemon, <laughs> every single one of them in our party, um, we have determined that the only way that we can actually take down the third gym leader is if we get this purloin to level 37. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, I, I hopefully I got over everything, but that's essentially what it is. It's standard basic math. It's actually it actually is very simple. Uh, Nightwing, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying the stream. Cerulean, thanks for the tier one, uh, and Sunshine, thanks for the eight months. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so we're here we're out here kind of grinding um and uh that's kind of uh, the plans for it right so we are currently doing something called Audino uh grinding or Audino training whatever you want to call it we're finding high level pokemon that give a lot of xp and we're defeating only those something like that so if we go up here um i'll show you how exactly how we're doing it right uh so we go this way Ah, yes. You can see down there, there's a shaking sort of uh, grass tile. So we want to actually encounter the Pokemon there. Which is an Audino. And Audinos, if you defeat them, give like an extended amount of XP. Monkey Ninja, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Um, okay, so then we go like uh, fake out here. 
because Fake Out has priority. Also, um, it, it has a 100% chance for the Audino to flinch. So the Audino is flinching. It also has an Orenberry, so we should run. Um, so never mind. <laughs> but basically, we defeat it. It gives us a lot of XP. And that's what we're doing. That's kind of the uh, whole goal of uh, right now, before we get to the, thir the third gym. <laughs> so it's like it's it's a lot of grinding but it's a lot of fun i mean but we have like totally defeated every other uh gym well the two other gyms and trainers uh to get to this point it's kind of nuts uh, i wish i wish we started with a, a different uh sort of a start for this one but we we're at this for like uh, uh a bit here All right, um, let me uh, do this then, too. Let me pause this, and then um, go over and play some music. Because I know you guys don't want to listen to the speed-up sound while we're doing it. How's the sound? Is it good? <laughs> Pringles, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. This is my first playthrough of uh, Black 2, and uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty entertaining uh, right about now. Uh, I've never I've never actually played the game before. <laughs> And I decided to do this, because I was, you know, why not? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing about, like, doing something like this, too, is, uh, it's kind of fun to me. Um, I, we, we beat Pokemon Black, uh, 1, like, the first one, with only level 1 Pokemon, and that video should be up, uh, later this week. Uh, we're, I'm currently working on the script and everything, which is also why I'm like, oh, God, I'm doing so much work when I'm back. It's literally, like, crazy. <laughs> Gen 5 is, like, a really good game. Um, also, I, uh, um, this is, like, how we're going to do it for the third gym. I appreciate all of the, uh, um, uh, uh, thoughts of, like, oh, you should train in the grass, uh, in the next town over. Or you should do this, or you should get that Pokemon. Right now, this is what we need to beat the third gym. We've, like, actually spent, like, two hours um last stream so like on monday figuring out exactly what we needed and this is exactly what we need so yeah i think do you you know i, I think we uh um yeah i think we do it like this what do you think of uh gen 5 guys like do you think there's going to be a a new like remake for the gen 5 games like black and white you know brilliant black shining white or something <laughs> I don't know, something like that. I can't find it. Where the hell is the... You guys see, see Shaking Grass too? I don't think so. Yeah, Gen 5 remakes. I think there will be. This is the last 2D game that hasn't been made 3D. Link, thanks for the 10 mods. Appreciate that. Pitch Black, Blinding White. Honestly, it could be. Well, like, hopefully Legends is good, too, because that's coming out on the 28th. Dude, where is the... Is Shaking Grass not here? Am I missing it? I don't see any. Later, I don't know how to say the name, but thanks for the Prime Gaming. Bottom left? Like, over here? Oh, it is bottom left to right. You got it. All right, so let me do this, and then we just do, do a turn, and we're good to go. Nice. Does rain... I mean, rain increases uh, um, water type, but doesn't decrease accuracy, right? I want to double check. Tom Films, thanks for the two months. I swear to God, if there's another one in the bottom left, <laughs> I'm going to scream. <laughs> Ah, I know it's top. It's it's top here. There it is. There it is. No, I'm doing checkpoints for the challenge. Um, so every single time we have um, we take damage, right? I I respawn back at the uh, nearest gym. So if I take damage, then we're gonna reset about six hours of work. Um, and doing six hours of work, that's going back to the second gym. So that's, you know, uh, I'd rather not, you know. Uh, but yeah, currently we're leveling our Purloin up to level 37 so that we can actually defeat the third gym. We've done all the calculations. We've all we've done all the uh, the math on it. And this is exactly how we're supposed to do it. 
Which is awesome. So, uh, we just, we got this. Yo, Debbie, thanks for the prime gaming. Ba, 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 ba. Ah, there it is. Awesome. Yeah, we named it DMCA, which is funny. <laughs> yeah, in every single auto node that we feed, like, honestly, I don't think it take, it's going to take us this long. It's going to be, like, I think we actually have, like, a pretty good chance of it taking, like, I don't know, like an hour? Not even. I don't even think. If we're, like, fast with it, you know? If we if we keep catching the uh, the shaking grass properly. Mazokas, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Um, okay, so then for level 13, we can't beat it outright, so I think we still have to do fake out. Yeah. And then return. That gives us so much XP. Does DMCA no takedown? No, it does no fake out, though, which is... <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. That would be really funny. Why not evolve it? So we have our Purloin at level 30 and level 31, etc. And we're not evolving it because we want to learn Nightshade at 37. If we evolve it, it learns it at 43. And I know you guys love uh, watching me run back and forth. <laughs> so, um, but I don't think you want me to do like an extra uh, three, uh, six levels um, for my Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. It's, uh, it's uh, Night Slash, right? Sorry, not Night Shade. Night Slash, that's what it is. But yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. Prime time. I mean, this is like, this is the uh, backbone of like any sort of like non-damaging uh, um, challenge for Pokemon. It's like the absolute, and like you have to over level every time. And the reason why it's taking so long, just in general, is because Gen 5 has this particular element called EXP scaling, where if you're highly, like, higher leveled over your, um, like, if you're so highly leveled over your, um, your opponent, that you actually gain less XP. Luxana, thanks for the 18 months. Welcome back. Yeah, there's been no news on the whole uh, DMCA uh, stuff for uh, Twitch, uh, which, I mean, it's it's not too concerning, but I think a lot of people are dropping it now. Thank God, though. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of woke up early today. Um, I woke up, uh, I went to bed, like, at, like, 10, um, I woke up, I went to bed at, like, 10 p.m. Uh, because I was like, you know what, honestly, um, I want to, like... I want to go to bed early, get up before 12. And so far, I've got up before 12 every single day of um, 2022, which I know is like, and it's not a big deal for some of you guys, but it is a big deal for me. So like, I, I want to start doing that. But I woke up too early because it was like, I got 10 hours of sleep. And then I had to deal with a whole bunch of stuff um, this morning. And I want to do more work, but uh, I should have taken it easy. Uh, so pardon me if I'm a little bit tired. Uh, cause I'm totally off my sleep schedule, you know? Ah, there we go. Over here. But yeah, so that's like, you know, me being like, Oh God, you know, my sleep schedule's ruined. What's going on with my life? Uh, but it is nice though. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do that. No, it's not like I need more than 10 hours of sleep. It's more like I, uh, I'm off my, like, classic schedule of, like, you know, my circadian rhythm. It's gone. It's just, like, thrown out of the window. Because I normally would go to bed around, like, 3 a.m. And then wake up at, like, you know, 11 a.m. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. I've been trying to switch it around a bit. So, that's kind of why. So, I know, you know, you like, you need eight hours of sleep to get, like, a good, like, sleep. But, otherwise... Pringles, thanks for the 100 bits. Here we go. Ineffable, thanks for the tier 2 subscription for 19 months. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm trying to get better. It's, it's like, part of, like, me being better in 2022. I saw, like, a couple other streamers doing it, too, where they're just, like, trying to get up before 12. 
because like when you don't have a like you, when you don't have to get up at like eight or nine for like a job uh that like requires office or um or like school or anything i'm like all right i'm going to like legitimately um just you know sleep in so you get kind of complacent a lot and so i've been trying to like better myself because i feel like i'm starting to get a little bit over the weight that i'm normally at <laughs> as well um and uh yeah it's like i'm not being too healthy currently so i, I it's like you know i, I want to kind of be better yeah you, you like you, you ever like you know <laughs> It's, it's, it's just kind of like, oh, hey, when I was in my prime of, like, rowing days, whenever I'd do that for, like, um, university and everything, basically what would happen is um, I, I was, I think it was 145 to 155, and 155 at, like, my peak for muscle, right? But now, after not working out for, like, a year, I'm back at 155, and I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to be this heavy right now. <laughs> Uh, it's like, I'm not, I'm not supposed to have, like, this much. I don't know if that's, like, relatable at all. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, God. What's up, Nat? How's it going? So I'm like, I gotta work out again. I gotta, like, uh, get everything going again. Because <laughs> I'm just, like, not healthy. 151? Oh, oh, no, 155 pounds. Sorry, I, it's freedom units back in, in the United States. <laughs> Apologies. But yeah, no, I, I was a rower, yeah, in, in college. So I'm trying to, like, get the sleep schedule going again. I'm trying to start eating better, too. Uh, which is why I've been taking longer for, like, eating, because I have to cook. Um, and uh, I'm trying to, like, really get out there and, and start doing things again. Because uh, if you don't know the, like, the life cycle of a content creator over the year... The beginning of the year for, like, content creators is, like, super, like, relatively easy. Um, because you don't have to deal with a whole bunch of things like, um, like, um, how about this? So, YouTube, when YouTube, like, exists, whenever you have, like, um, like, ad rates for YouTube, um, the ad rate, so the amount of money you get per view goes up as the year gets towards December. Uh, so, because of that, um, most content creators start working more and more and more until right at to December. So right, like, right there, like, at the, right before Christmas is, like, the peak of, like, every, con like, you're working, like, 17-hour days. Uh, you're working, like, just insane, like, figures. And then January... December, you see, sorry, January, February, you see a bunch of content creators take like breaks or uh, just take it, take it easy, not post as much. It's because ad rates aren't as, you know, high and there's not as much of an incentive uh, to like sort of post. So that's why it's like, all right, I'm taking like January to do all of this like better stuff so then I can be better for next February. Sorry, next December. Yeah, so if you see, like, people posting, like, their best content in, like, December, that's why. Because you get paid more in December. <laughs> Hopefully that kind of, like, makes sense. Hey, we're level 32! Hey, chat, count it down with me while we're doing it. We got level 32. Let's go, dude. Mafu, best boy, thanks for the prime gaming. <laughs> That's uh, that's awesome. All right, so we need to get to level thirty-seven. So we got five more. Ah, there it is. Yeah, so this is actually like really fast. We're actually leveling up like pretty sick. Oh, I should probably also do some calcs on like if I can actually defeat this Audino, level thirteen rather than do fake out first. Love Pokemon streams. Yeah, I stream Pokemon on Monday through and Monday and Wednesday. And then I'll stream, uh, I will be streaming the new Legends of Arceus when that comes out too on the 28th. And I'm so excited for that. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, I mean, 28th is like right after my birthday. But also, 
Tomorrow is my three-year anniversary of starting content creation, starting streaming. I went live three years ago on Twitch. It's actually for money then? Bro, this is my job. <laughs> I do it for fun, but I mean, something has to keep the lights on, you know? <laughs> something has to pay for this. <laughs> You can't expect all content creators to not take money into account. Yeah, channel birthday on uh on the 13th, so tomorrow. And uh tomorrow I will I'll actually play uh like Undertale or something. Yeah, I know greedy streamer likes having a roof over his head. Gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Congrats on turning 3 years old. Maybe I can start walking maybe. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Ah, there it is. Here, let me, uh, let's see. Let's do something like battle music. How's that? Bring us with a shell. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Appreciate that. Thank you. And Demon's Druid, thanks for the 500 bits. In mainland Europe, it's already the 13th. Congrats. <laughs> All right, well, it's, I mean, like, in non-mainland Europe, in the U.S., it's, <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll count that. It's, it's the 13th tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, I wish, uh, I, I, I mean, I wish this was, uh, earlier, too. I wish we could do this, uh, faster. But it's like either either we do it now or I just like don't do it at all. I did I did consider, and I feel like every time I go live with this challenge, I just straight up consider not doing it. <laughs> Cause it just takes so much time. But I know some of you guys like really enjoy it, so I'm like, ooh. And like also it'd be like super hype if we actually end up finishing the game like this. I'm just like, ooh, I don't know whether or not to, to keep it up, you know? It's like the reward the reward might be worth it. You're right. It's down here. No. When 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 it no spawn? When the when the shaky grass no spawn? Dang. Hey grinding when I play. I don't think I could grind without like a Twitch chat. I'll be real with you. I don't think I could. Ah, uh, there it is down here. It was hidden. It was either like this or like, I think we're going to do like X and Y soon of like random, um, random battles, every like random Pokemon, every battle. There it is. Yeah, grinding is like tedious if you don't have anything to distract me. So like normally what I would do is if I would grind into like a Pokemon game, I'd put on like TV or like watch a YouTube video. So <laughs> basically you guys are my TV or YouTube video. Here, here's a good idea. Hey, Twitch chat, can you do a trick. <laughs> do a trick. Go. <laughs> you guys got this. Ah, oh, that's entertaining. <laughs> I see some of you guys spinning. <laughs> Disappears magic. <laughs> so yeah, that's entertaining for me. There you go. You think we're dogs? Uh, Twitch chat, bark. Alright, there, there, I mean, you know, there, there, it works. There it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Um, Twitch chat. Ooh. Shake. 
There it is. Twitch chat shake. Hack things to the 300 bits. Okay, that, it's, it's the wrong kind of shake because I was thinking of like shaking with like a hand, not like physically vibrating. Um, but you know what? That, that works too. No, that, that, that also works. Also, shaking does not mean shake your ass. <laughs> you gotta be more specific, Crow. Okay. How about this? Twitch chat. Use your Twitch Prime. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good one, right? It's, no? No? Alright. It was... It was... <laughs> All right, well, what does Captivate do again? Uh, Captivate's a normal type move. Lowers special attack stat. That doesn't work. That doesn't work for us. Keep old moves. Tiny Jenkin, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. All right, so we'll give up on Captivate here. Uh, Neko San, San, thanks for the uh, Prime for two months. Smokey, thanks for the Prime. Frogzy, thanks for the Prime. It's working. <laughs> And Joe Mama, thanks for the gifted sub. Appreciate that, guys. <laughs> and ZJ, thanks for the prime as well. Dude, this is it's too perfect. Thanks, thanks for going along with the joke. <laughs> Leo's comment with the prime. Oh my god. Are you not evolving to learn uh, Night Slash earlier? Yeah, we're not evolving to learn uh, Night Slash earlier. That's why we're like also running around and trying to get to level 37. So we can actually use Night Slash for the third gym. Brumageddon, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Angel Alaska, thanks for the Prime as well. Appreciate it, guys. That's why. So we're running around uh, back and forth. Oh my god, there's so many Primes. Jesus. Dude. <laughs> Ch -ch -ch Chat. <laughs> That's so many. Call me cool back. thanks for the Prime. Uh, the Walrus, thanks for the Prime. Uh, it's Fun Dip. I, speaking of, I do like fun dip. Uh, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Divine, thanks for the two months. Not a prime though. <laughs> what a scrub. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> uh, Blue Fan Fleur, thanks for the prime gaming as well. Awesome. Also, uh, yeah, what's terrible about uh, Black 2 and White 2, and specifically what's awful about doing the challenge in these games is that there's XP scaling, which means that uh, basically you gain XP, you gain less XP per kill whenever you're overleveled. And the more overleveled you are, the less XP you get. So we're going to get like, yeah, 282 from like a level 12. Um, once we're level 34, we're going to get less than 282, and we need more XP to actually level up. So, it's, it just becomes harder and harder. I think it's the same, uh, same as black and white. I don't think it's worse. So we're trying to reach level 37, so we just need four more. I, don't know, I think it's a cool challenge. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty sick one. And I think there's been like one or two people who have actually done this before. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking of, uh, I don't know, doing it in like a, a really cool way. Okay, so I want to make sure, let me show you guys how we do this too. So I want to make sure that we can actually beat this Audino at level 13. We need to one shot it or it's going to hit us, right? So, Let's go to a damage calculator like this, all right? So we have our purloin with all of our stats, everything, uh, level 33. Um, and then we have an auto no at level 13. It says that if we use a return, we'll do 118 to 141% of its health. Therefore, we can indeed one shot it with return and I'm confident on that. There it is awesome right so you just want to double check so you want to like make sure because keep in mind like if we end up like resetting 
then we also why is my sub counter not going up am i scamming you guys <laughs> i have zero subs I'm sorry, he's a dead streamer. I'm a dead streamer, guys. I, I I apologize. I know. It happens that way. Sometimes sometimes, you know, like you really uh sometimes, sometimes you just like don't get any subs. I no, I understand. No, it's okay guys. It's okay. <laughs> I, all right, I think it's just gonna be zero then. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, no, it's like fully crashed. Give me a sec. Zero sub goal reached. <laughs> oh, oh, I had to reauthorize. That's why. My thirty, my auth token is gone. There we go. All right, let me refresh it. Give it a sec. Dude, there's so many subs. Stop, guys. It's not going to go up. Dude, because you sub, the, the number's not going to go up. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how that's working. Oh, my God, guys. We're going to speed run to, to 4,000 subs. Don't worry. Just drop your prime. It'll work, definitely. <laughs> Oh my god. Fluvy Fan, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Uh, PK Note, thanks for the Prime. Captain, uh, Captain, Capitate Zen, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Peanut Butter, Sully Janwitz, thanks for the Prime. I said it right that time. Let's go. On you on YouTube, I'm a big fan. Well, welcome in. I feel like a lot of people do find me on YouTube, so it's uh, appreciated that you have stopped by and enjoy. Minus 4,000 subs in a second. I know. Not my streamer. Man, guys, what is... Is this how it feels like to be washed up? <sighs> Guards are pepperoni. Thanks for the three months. Oh, we're actually like... We're making really good time on this too. Oh, here we go. Let me, uh... <laughs> Infinity subs! We... <laughs> That's so crazy! <laughs> We've... We, we have... It's it's three thousand four hundred and twenty-seven over uh, a null a null value. <laughs> so does that mean we we've, we've reached the sub goal, or 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 not? <laughs> Did we do it? <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Hey, guys, I fixed it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. I know, I know. Professional streamer, by the way. Uh, I've never had anything sketchy happen on the stream ever. Um, it's definitely not scuffed. Professional streamer. Right? This is my living, you know. Self goal not reached, I know. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, if we, if we do reach a sub uh, goal... Then, uh, it, like, the reason Magikarp only means we'll beat Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green with a single shiny Magikarp. One, one Magikarp, which is shiny, which means we have to grind to get a shiny Magikarp first and then beat the game with a Magikarp. That's impossible? I don't know. I think, it, I think it's possible. It's 
like the same thing as like, do you think beating uh, Pokemon Black 2 without taking any damage is possible? I mean, obviously we're doing it right now, but do you think it is? <laughs> it's not? Ah, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> It'd take like three, two years tops. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, we're doing it in the next uh, next week or so. Hey, level 34. Count it down with me. Let's go. Three more. Does the timer represent all the time you took on all the attempts? Yeah, yeah. It's like a uh, total timer. Skier, thanks for the tier one subscription. Took damage yesterday. I didn't stream Pokemon Black 2 yesterday. <laughs> I streamed Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Blanket Cultist, thanks for the four gifted subs. Thank you. We got three left. It's actually going faster than I thought it would. That's awesome. Also, if we do uh, take damage, uh, we reset to the uh, the last save, which was the last uh, gym. So essentially, we'd like reset and then back to a time where we just beat the second gym. We're going against the third gym now. That's why we need this level 34 uh, for loin. Oh, sorry, level 37 for loin. We attack and Sucker Punch would like to speak with you. Yes, we have Fake Out, though, which is a plus four priority move, which goes before Quick Attack. That's, we do have a solution for that, uh, which is what we're kind of dealing with right now. Hell yeah. But as you can see, we're making, like, we're getting less XP now because we are more leveled. TPT Turbo Shaft, thanks for the two months. Let's go... So kind of nice, you know? Nice HP EVs. Yeah, so the reason why our HP is at level 1 um, is because initially this wasn't like a challenge to beat the game without taking damage. Initially, it was Pokemon Black 2, but all of my Pokemon have 1 HP. Uh, but then, half like about like you know, one or two battles in, I was like, you know what? What if we just did this? What if we just did Pokemon Black 2 without taking damage? So, that's why we have, like, you know, level 1. And that's why we have only have, like, 1 HP. So, it's like, it's it shows that it's, like, I guess our Pokemon will faint if we take damage. It's the same thing. Playing, basically, a, a 1 HP Nuzlocke. It's like a 1 HP Hardcore Nuzlocke. Yeah. game looks boring is it worth it <laughs> yeah so the actual full gameplay of pokemon black 2 is just running back and forth that's it that's the entire game yeah i mean if you if you if you base the game on on the stream so far dude this must be one of the most boring games you've ever watched in your entire life it, it's it's Pipe walking simulator. <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. Uh, no, um, this is a very entertaining game. And if you're bored, you can watch something else. Dancing League, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Appreciate that. Spike Killer, thanks for the 100 bits. So this is sped up, yeah. So if I just like regularly played it like this, it'd be so long. See, this is it. We're just kind of, we're suffering with no speed ups. That's why. Pipe walking simulator. What I walk into? Yeah, this is this is Twitch. No other site. <laughs> Realized uh, you may have went for the boulder strap because you're still gonna need him uh, for all of Route Four with Sandstorm. Yeah, but fake out's still probably helpful for like quick attack and stuff. Or like our fake out goes before their fake out kind of stuff, you know. We'll need we'll need a purloin anyways. Maples, thanks for the 14 months. 
don't understand how your content is so consistently good. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah, I, I don't know. I try to think of ideas where I'm like, people will think this is impossible. And then, and then I just do those. <laughs> and then I just do the impossible. That's, 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 uh, that's one of my secrets. So, yeah. Can you beat Pokemon Black 2 without taking any damage? Uh, I don't know yet, because we haven't defeated it. We haven't beaten the game yet. However, so far, yes. <laughs> Machino Moscato. Thanks for the three months of Prime. Thanks for all the follows, too, guys. If you are enjoying, feel free to follow the stream. Yeah, just do the impossible, forehead. <laughs> just break the laws of physics. I mean, uh, who else? What other streamer will you watch? watch paint dry or grass grow like i did that for like 10 hours and i will tell you we just came up with the idea for this year's uh watch blank for 10 hours we just came up with it and i think it's a good idea rt oh that's true you will see rt game watch paint dry forgot about that. okay but but grass grow you won't see any other streamers watch grass i mean you saw ms gif watch grass grow But you'll never see somebody else watch, and then and then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the th this year's, but this year's, this year's is good. I will say, and you guys will probably be happy about this. It will be visual where you can literally see the whatever thing, like doing something for ten hours. Oh, it's pretty cool. I, I I hope you guys are excited for it. And like you like I uh, do every year, I'll post the entire thing on YouTube unedited. It's the one. It's really the the one only time where um, I just post a vod on my main channel, <laughs> like an unedited thing on my main channel. Uh, completely unedited, which is always fun. I feel like a lot of people end up watching uh, the uh, uh, watching the uh, the paint dry and grass growing streams because they're just funny. <laughs> what does VOD mean? Video on demand. It's unedited streams. Essentially, I have a VOD channel too, Point Grow VODs. Also, I do have a, I, I have a clips channel. So if you guys are curious um, about like really fun clips and everything, go check it out. Uh, we got some really fun stuff on there. Um, I will also, ooh, I'll announce this before it happens. Um, just in case you guys want to go to your favorite clips. Um, I will be doing a purge on the clips channel. Um, where I will be, I'd say deleting like half the channel. <laughs> so, uh, why? I just wanted to channel my inner Than like my inner Thanos snap. You know, just my, my really, like, I was like, you know what? Thanos was right. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, just a little bit of spring cleaning though. I just want to make sure that like, I want to go over and like redo all of the quality of the clips channel essentially. Uh, so like delete the clips where I'm like, this isn't like, uh, as high quality as I want it to be, like, in the future. Um, so, like, if you... If a new person comes across the Clips channel, um, then they'll be like, oh, all of these are bangers. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Because cool. uh, beforehand, I had, like, a lower, like, expectation for a, for a clip. And I'm now, like, expanding that to all my stuff. So I don't want to stream a stream that I don't think is going to be good. I don't want to... Um, put a video on a channel that I don't think is going to be uh, uh, great either. It's all that, you know. So I want to, like, FYI, you know, give you that little heads up of, like, hey, Clips channel, get in a purge. <laughs> Just watch all of them before they're gone. Hurry, hurry. I'm also really shocked that you guys voted to um, keep me 
shit posting on 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 TikTok. So I think I'll have to start doing that. There was this really funny clip where I don't know I don't know why, but there's this TikTok where someone was like, "Yeah, you know, like um, I was really sad the other day because um, my uh, my wife left me for a guy named Eric." I just want to know if it's like a bad idea to like like duet that and be like, "Yo." She's doing great, by the way. That might, that might be a bad. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Do it. Okay. If Twitch chat thinks it's a good idea, maybe I don't. <laughs> Mr. Bro Boy, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Where? Am I missing like the patch of grass that I'm supposed to be at or go to? The auto stop spawning. Dude, I haven't even found a shiny Pokemon yet. Steal the wife? Okay, guys, I'm not actually stealing a wife. I it's the joke is <laughs> I'm not actually kidnapping people. You guys know that, right? Like that's the that's part of the, the bit there is like, I'm not actually taking people, not with that attitude. No, I think. <laughs> All right, if you guys really do think that, uh, I will say your, your mom makes great cookies. Just in the middle of the night, you know. <laughs> She's a wonderful lady. Family friendly? No, that is very family friendly. Because I like to make friends with other people's families. <laughs> I think that is very, very family friendly. I'm just saying that she makes great cookies. She's a fantastic uh, baker. Spider Jet, thanks for the prime gaming. Yeah, we're just we're just friends. What do you what did you what what were you guys thinking? What was what was the I'm a little confused here. <laughs> I don't mind me just, you know, decimating the entire, uh, I don't know, population. Oh, also, Zoe, I've been trying to get that, that script to you, um, but I've just been bleh. And also doing, like, everything else. I've been focusing on the uh, VODs channel and Clips channel stuff. I should probably be focusing on my main channel, but, you know. Fuck Cherry! Thanks for the two gifted subs. Dude, we're almost at 37. We're like halfway through 35. Bro canceled for extinction. Honestly, I think the Audino's had it coming. <laughs> I mean, just look at their, their cutesy little faces. What's your current objective? Uh, so if you're popping in for the first time and you're unsure of what is going on, uh, we're playing Pokemon Black 2 uh, without taking any damage. And so in order to one-shot the uh, third gym leader, um, or particularly to one-shot the um, Dwebble that the third gym leader has, or two-shot it because we have to um, technically two-shot it, um, in order to do that, we actually have to get um, a level 37 Purloin. And we've done the math on it. We've done everything um, related. That's far, far none what we have to do. Or we can't continue uh, on with this. I want to slow down that gameplay. You might not notice if you take damage. No, it'll be obvious because our um, Pokemon faint. Yeah, so currently we're uh, trying to level up our uh, Purloin to level 37. It's currently level 35, so we're running back and forth here. Uh, so we can level on Audinos, which are specific Pokemon that give extra XP per uh, kill, faint, whatever you want to call it. It's literally all this for a Dwebble. Literally one goddamn Dwebble. 
Yeah, they're like the chances of Gen 5. Exactly. King Leech, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Good job, no damage so far? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> we've raised this Purloin from, I think, level 11? It was level 11. <laughs> so, I goddamn hope so. Also, did my sub count break again? I think it did. Might be just frozen. I'm now like on edge. I'm like, dude, is everything on stream going to break now? <laughs> like, is it, like everything going to go like out of the, out the window? It just happens that way. <laughs> I, I I have a curse with uh, streaming technology. How's endure work? Uh, it leaves the Pokemon at one HP, but then it can't attack as long as you go first. So the reason why we have to do Dwebble um, specifically. It's like, yeah, we could two-shot Dwebble. We can one-shot Dwebble. But Dwebble has a really fun thing, uh, ability called Sturdy. And what Sturdy does is it leaves um, Dwebble at one HP. It can't be one hit KO'd. And so we actually have to two-shot it. And so the thing is, is if we two-shot it, we have to, um, well... We have to hope that it doesn't hit us. And so the only way that we can actually guarantee that the Dwebble doesn't hit us is A, using a double hit move, or B, using something like Fake Out that gives it a 100% flinch. So we're going to Fake Out, and then, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to Fake Out, and then after Faking Out, then we kill it. Why can't you use something like Burn? Because uh, we deal damage. Uh, we deal damage, it pops sturdy, it does its move, and then it burns. So that it literally doesn't matter. Well, if one of your Pokemon has sturdy, uh, if one of our Pokemon has sturdy, um, actually, we're just going to ban sturdy from the run. Um, but if we can't ban sturdy for some reason, where we need a Pokemon with sturdy, um, if our Pokemon hits us and we pop sturdy, we reset still. That still counts as taking damage. Hey, level 36. Let's go. We got one more level. We got one more level <laughs> until we can beat the the. the well, actually, well, we got one more level until Nightshade, and then we can uh, do the the Calx and everything. But yeah, I've never played this game before, so I actually don't know a lot of the uh, trials and tribulations that we're going to uh, be presented with when um, uh, after the third gym. So. It's, it's all in fun, because this, this doubles as a first playthrough. It's it's Pokemon Challenge plus pers first playthrough. Um, you get the reactions of like, whoa, that's so cool. And then also like, um, fucking kill me. You know, <laughs> like, like okay, how do we do this? Uh, like the surprise of like, oh, that's a rival battle. Yikes. There we go. Sounds like a ridiculously OP move. What, like Fake Out? Fake Out, it only does 100% um, flinch on the first time you use it, and you have to use it on the first time that the Pokemon switches in. So it's very conditional. But because it's very conditional, we're only using it once anyway, so it doesn't really matter for us. <laughs> you know, Dark, thanks for the seven months. When are you allowed to use saves? Good question. Uh, when after a gym leader. So if we take damage, then I reset back to when we just defeated the second gym leader. Also, yeah, Fake Out's also just, like, not a powerful move. Um, it has, a uh, 40 power. What if a Gym Leader uses a potion? A Gym Leader can't use a potion... Does the third Gym Leader have potions? I don't think he does, right? I mean, he'll waste his turn using the potion anyways, actually. So it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, he literally wastes his turn using the potion. So, like, we, we hit, potion, return. And then we just return again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're fine. We're still fine. 
Probably. Maybe. No, no, we are fine. We're 100% fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, we're good. Sorry, I, I just had to, like... Jeez, I had to go. Can you give me some streaming tips with no com uh, commentary? Yeah, here's my, here's my tip. If you have a so solid answer to why the fuck should I watch you, then you'll do well. <laughs> that, hope that helps. It's actually true, though. I probably could have phrased that in a nicer way, but... <laughs> Bro, why the fuck should I watch you? Because if you want to see somebody doing a Pokemon Black 2 without taking any damage... Run? I don't think you can find somebody else. <laughs> you want to see some insane challenges that nobody's ever done before, ever, as well. Some mods that people are creating uh, for the Pokemon community, for the Breath of the Wild community. I'll, I'll, I'll watch my shit. Also, I, I like to think I have a charming personality. <laughs> um, however, that, that only goes so far. <laughs> also, um, if you don't watch me, uh, your family will... Um, well, I don't know if you'll ever see your family again. Do you like your family? Because they certainly like you. <laughs> have you seen them? Have you called them recently? I double check. Charming personality, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. People keep asking. Uh, I li literally like. Whenever people ask for like streaming tips or like, you know, content creation tips or whatever, uh, I give the same answer, and it's a stupid answer because I think it's. I think I think it's a um, I, th I think it's like a valid answer. <laughs> it's like, why do I? Why should I watch? Why should anybody watch you? And then also like, how do I be a good streamer? Make entertaining content. Of what? Awesome, it's over there. Like, I mean, when you think about it, I, I think like most people, when they're like asked for tips and everything that I've, I've experienced with, when people ask for tips, they're like asking for, is there like a quick hack that I can somehow become popular? Like, is there a way that I can like change my tags in my YouTube video to op highly optimize the SEO so then I can... Uh, I mean, yeah, but, like, that's probably not the first thing you should think of. <laughs> you know? Dude, sometimes I, I just can't see the shaking grass, and then, like, piss, I, like, there's, like, a, like, three tiles where the shaking grass loves to spawn and it's the most annoying thing in the world because you can't see it from the pipe. Or he just called you a lovely lad on the stream? Ah! My heart! I love that man! He is like... Ah! <laughs> He's so nice. Dude, I've never had anybody call me a lovely lad. And like... I don't know why, but he's just so nice. Rocket Lady, thanks for the 500 bits. <laughs> it's appreciated. Lovely lad, point crew of the Royal Not a Cult Residence. I will be going, uh... To TwitchCon Amsterdam. Um, by the way, I think that's in June. So uh, if you guys ever wanted to uh, do, like, I think we'll if, if we ever have like a meetup or something, it'll probably be there. I think we'll have like a little like like station or something. 
Uh, and then I'm also doing uh, San Diego. However, it depends on like COVID reasons, obviously, stuff like that. Um, but assuming COVID's not raging uh, as much anymore, then uh, I will be in Amsterdam. Then I'll also uh, be in San Diego. I don't know if RT's going to Amsterdam or anything. I just want to, like, uh, like tangentially, because um, he's in, you know, the in, in the Europe and all that, all that stuff. Is SGDQ happening this year? AGDQ is happening right now. I don't know about SGDQ. Um, I'd still go. I'd be interested. San Diego is like super nice because I could just drive there. <laughs> like, I live in uh, LA, so it's like super, super like right there. I don't know. You want to hear a video idea? Sure. Right, man. What was your reaction to the Breath Wild trailer in 2017? I never saw it. I avoided everything about Breath of the Wild for like. I think, yeah, like a year, a full year, um, until I uh, was able to play it myself, because I didn't want any spoilers. That includes, like, trailers. Look forward to Pokemon Legends of Arceus. Yeah, I've also done the same thing with Legends of Arceus where I haven't seen any of the trailers for it. Or like I've seen the trailer like I think they showed it at like the Game Awards or something. Or no, it was it was a um no, it was a Nintendo Direct. I saw the Nintendo Direct for it. But anything else I just avoided. But I probably should watch it because I will be streaming it like ASAP. So it was like if I need to play in content, I probably should get spoiled a little bit, you know. There it is. Nice. I just wait on hold for two hours for a tax thing that took five seconds to answer. How's <laughs> your day? That sounds that sounds like so much fun. Oh my god! How's it going, Abby? Pretty off topic, but do you watch anime? I I don't watch anime. Um, I'm not a fucking weeb. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that is. What is anime? Is that like uh, is that like a cartoon kind of thing? Like like what 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 like entails anime? Legally can't share the amount of money Eric has spent on manga last year. It is in the four figures. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> All right. It, it, it was a lot. It was like a um, couple hundred volumes, but totally worth it. <laughs> definitely not five. No, it, it definitely actually wasn't five, but it was like in the four figures. Where... Dude, there's like one piece of grass that like shakes. Do you see the shaking grass here? Like there should be one that's not like, it's not visible, I guess. I read one piece on the plane. Did you really?
37. Let's go, dude. Wants to learn the move Night Slash. All right, I'll take Night Slash any day of the week. All right, so what should we do instead of uh, Night Slash? Assurance is 50 power, 100 arc, uh, accuracy. Um, Pursuit is 40 and 100. Um, do we get rid of Pursuit or do we get rid of Assurance? Assurance, if the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack power is doubled. I mean, the only thing Assurance would be good for... She does double the PP. The PP doesn't matter. Then what you do is, like, you fake out Assurance, right? Yeah, and they're not going to switch out, really. PP definitely matters, Crow. Why does PP matter? Proxus, thanks for the $10. PP matters if it's double. It's, oh, it's the same term. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Assurance is the same turn. Wait, wait, wait. Taking damage in the same turn. Oh, and then Assurance sucks. Unless, like, double battles, but then, like... It doesn't really matter. It, 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 it's just a more powerful move than Pursuit. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get rid of Pursuit then. Yeah, Proxy, thanks for the $10. I had a lot of work the last three months. Nothing would be better than watching all the crazy mods and gameplay when I get home. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right. Night Slash. Um, do we want to evolve? Wait, wait, chat. Do we want to evolve? Do we want to evolve? Uh, we're level 37. I want to double check though. We learned Night Slash, right? <laughs> Does Lipard learn anything at level... Like, I'm going to learn. check the learn set and everything. I want to make sure. So Lipard at level 38 learns Taunt when it levels up. Okay. And then um, Purloin when it levels up. Come on. You got this. Come on. Come on, Internet. I, I believe in you. There it is. Purloin. Does not. Okay, yeah. I mean, it learned Snatch at 39, though. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. Don't evolve until Sucker Punch. At 46. Plus one. Um, only damages it, um, depending on the move selected, if it only has it, right? So, Sucker Punch is at level 46. So, Sucker Punch... Lipard is at 55. Do I keep Purloin then to learn Sucker Punch at level 46? Sucker Punch can fail. Oh, I do need the stat boost, right? All right. Anyways, what's a couple, you know, tens of levels that we have to learn anyways later? Oh, boy. Finally. Here we go. Five literally took us so long in a full different day to actually get this uh, Pokemon up to up to the level and, and evolve it. But we got Lipard. Oh, my God.
Okay, so let's do the fun thing here. Let's check out our stats here. All right, so we have our Lipard uh, DMCA with a silk scarf. Hey guys, do you want to do some math? <laughs> you know what's more fun than everything else? You guys want to do math? I need a uh, Castellia gym. Um. Yeah, in black and white too. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, we have a Lipard now. Um, rather than a Purloin, so Lipard. Uh, and it is level. 37, like we wanted, right? Write this down, chat. Pepo G's. Pepo G's. Write it down. Um, our attack is 97, so we have 97, not, not that. So it's like 150. 180. Alright, and then our special attack is 78. So it's actually not great, but that's fine. Um, and then our speed is 100. Okay. Uh, our nature is what? Bashful, which is nothing. Okay. And then we have return. I'm just putting in all the info here. Two plus two is seven. You're correct. Fake out. Uh, we have assurance. And then we have night slash, right? Versus, if we go to Castellia Gym here, um, in Pokemon Black and White 2, we can beat the Swaddles, Combi, Swadloon, all super easily with some other Pokemon, right? And then, we have a level 19, level 20 Dwebble. And then, afterwards, we have a level 22 Dwebble. So, let's take a look at the damage calculator. We have a Dwebble. Oh, we're also holding a Silk Scarf, by the way. So uh, a level 13 Dwebble, we can in, sorry, not level 13, level 22 Dwebble, we can mostly one shot. So, so the thing is, <laughs> what we need to do for this Dwebble is we need to fake out the Dwebble and then Night Slash it. That's, that's like the goal. We did it, guys. <laughs> we, we, we did it. Oh. For the love of everything ever. Epic math, bro. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids, please. For the love of God. If anything, this makes me want to do drugs. Um, but you know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe later. <laughs> uh, wait, I need to plug in my... Do math, not math, kids. Oh, actually, let me, let me, uh, keep, keep DMC up, uh, open. But yeah, uh, right up until the third gym, we have a level 37 Lipart. So let's go to the said... Let's go to said third gym now. I also really like in Black 2 that they make you sort of like go around the region in a different, like, like in a different order. It's actually like really neat. If it's the second Mon, you can't switch out. Can't fake out? No, you can fake out. Right? Like fake out just has to be the first turn, like the first turn the users in battle. Yeah. So we should be we should be fine. Alright, so let's do up here. And then 
Yeah, you can use it when you switch in, yeah. I'm also playing in uh, Switch, that's it. All right. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, Bragrin, thanks for the 23 months. Appreciate it. You got speed right? Oh, for sure. So let's check all this too. Let's let's do a little bit more math. So Pepo G. So Swaddle, two level 20 Swaddles. Um, let's check. So uh, Swaddle. Jeez, that's not Swaddle. A level 20 Swaddle can be taken out by Flame Wheel easily. Uh, what else? Uh, a Combi and a Swadloon. Oh, what was it? Combi is level 20 as well. Easy. A Swadloon is 20 as well. We can also take it out with Flame Wheel. Um, and then Swaddle, Combi, same thing. And then Dwebble, Swadloon. Yeah. We should be good. Are you guys ready to take on the third gym? <laughs> Here we go. I, I don't know if I'm mentally ready. Whoa. Whoa, dude, this gym is so cool. Probably tired of wandering all over the crowd streets of Caselli City looking for Team Plasma and the gym leader. So here, I'll give you this. Water, nice. How's the uh, sound? Is it is it too low or is it good? The theme of this gym, the theme of this gym is none, uh, none other than cocoons. Uh, you head upwards by going inside the cocoons and traveling up the threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg. Eventually. Oh, okay. So I go into this. And... Oh, whoa! And then, wait, wait. So if I go over here too... <laughs> that's somewhat unsettling, but I love it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so... Um, I open with K13 here. Um, was this in, like, is this in order? Like, is, is this in order of, like, trainers that you, you, you go through? Like, is it this the first one, and the second, and third, and then fourth? That's important. Because this one opens up th with the Dwevel. It should? Okay. So, you... Okay, first first one. <laughs> we gotta not take damage here. Alright, it's two Pokemon. You should have a Sawaddle first. Okay. Okay, so then if I use Flame Wheel, I should just kill you outright. Okay, okay, good, good, nice. Alright, same thing with the other Sawaddle. We'll keep battling here. Dude, I'm, dude, I just insane nervousness for all of this our flame wheel has 100 accuracy too so it can't miss nice first gym trainer down all right here we go we got it Ooh, time thanks for the prime gaming not go to what is this oh oh do we have to like go like from this way oh oh <laughs> okay second trainer <laughs> oh that okay <laughs> when the cocoon breaks open the one that pops out is moi on that note have a battle with moi that is that is terrifying <laughs> Uh, you should have a, a, um, a combi. Okay, nice. Dude, my heart. Okay, so this should also kill with flame wheel. 
Nice. Alright, we're also slowly leveling here too. I'll take it. And then Swaglin, we're also fine with. I'm glad I wore my brown pants today. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Awesome. Heidi makes battle instincts dull, you know? Okay, so the next one should have Sawaddle, Combi, and then Dwebble. That's that's this up this upcoming one. Okay. This one should have three, and this is the one with a Dwebble. Yes, okay. We really nerve wracking, dude. Dude, dude, this is the moment that we've spent hours waiting for. So, for the Sawaddle, we need to use Flame Wheel. Nice. Okay. Hey, we're level 25. Let's go. Okay, and then now he's sending out Dwebble. Okay, so I'm going to switch into Lipard. I don't know why I'm so nervous. We, we've done the math on it, but it's just like... Okay, okay, so we sent out Lipard. Okay, so this Dwebble has Sturdy. So if we don't... We can't one-shot it. So we have to use Fake Out to flinch it. So then it can't, so it, it, it pops the sturdy, or it doesn't even do that, but it just like pops the sturdy, or it, it just flinches so it can't move. And so now it can't have sturdy anymore because we can't one hit KO. So then we just return here. And this should kill. <laughs> that is nerve wracking, but we got it. Okay, all right, all right, it, it works. The strat works. All right, and I'll switch to uh, back to uh, K13 here uh, to finish off with the flame wheel. Let's go! All right, all right, flame wheel. Nice. Night slash would have been better since it's not very effective, right? We were supposed to use Night Slash there. <laughs> we got lucky. Wait. <laughs> Wait, we actually got lucky. What was the chance of that happening? It was a Lipard versus a level 19 Dwebble. Oh my god. Literally? We had a chance where that did there was a world where that didn't work. Cause 23, we could have done the minimum damage, 28 28% with fake out, and then the minimum damage with return. And and, and that that would have been a point one percent chance it didn't work. That's a point one percent chance. Which is still it's low, but knowing me, it's it's not, you know, amazing. Blood Knight, thanks for the tier one subscription. Colin, for you, thanks for the three months. Um, oh, let's also do the, uh, sorry, I can do the calcs for the gym leader next. Um, oh, actually, sorry, we have one more left. We have, um, we have another guy left, but we have to open with Lipard. Nice. All right, so then you're the last one. Uh, we have Lipard. Part up here. Where should be good? Hey, Point Crow, are you planning on beating the game this stream? <laughs> oh my god, you guys can't be funny. <laughs> Gor uh, Golreth the Blade Wig. Wing, sorry. Thanks for the three months. 
Alright, so it opens with Dwebble. So we still do the Fake Out Night Slash. Fake Out, right? Flinch couldn't move, okay. And then we... It, every single time we do it, dude. Every single time. Because every time that the opponent moves, it just, like, makes me just so nervous. Then we Night Slash for the rest. Awesome. Um, okay, so then we're going to switch for Swadloon to K13. Yeah, let me use Return there. For sure, guys. Alright, and then I'll do Flame Wheel. Alright, and then all we have left is the Gym Leader. Let's go, dude! Let's go! Alright, so before we actually do the gym leader, let's do the smart thing. And we've only compared against the Dwebble. So we have a Swadloon. Um, a level 22 Swadloon here. So can we actually defeat the Swadloon with our Growlithe? Yes. Awesome. So then the uh, Leovanni... Um, is level 24. So let's see about that. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we don't outspeed the Leovanni. We can kill it, but we don't outspeed it. So we go second. Uh, we are 25 though. Okay. Um, what about our Lipard? Can we still keep in for Lipard for Leovanni? Because we're pretty powerful. No. We go first, though. Maybe Tranquil? So Leovanni, level 24. We don't go first with our Tranquil. And we don't come close to killing it either. Did you fake out Night Slash? No, we can't because we're already using it on the Dwebble. Um, so for Leovanni here, we outspeed, but uh, what? when do we kill with Return? That's not looking good. 40. Let me double check. Let me double check Growlithe's like stats here. It might actually be better to level up the Growlithe. Uh, forty-two. No, that's that's accurate speed. Um, and we are hasty, anyways. So, at what speed does Growlithe outspeed Leovanni? Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. 35? 35. 35. Yikes. For speed. Unless we get, like, speed EVs. What gives speed EVs? Because we could just straight up do that instead. Right? So, assuming we get, like... 150. Oh, uh, well, Okay. Check for black glasses. What does black glasses do? We do have black glasses, I think. Increase the damage to dark moves. I thought we had it. Do we not have black glasses? No, the, gu the guy gives you one, doesn't it? Like, don't you get black glasses from the guy who's like... Um, who like flashes you? Oh, no, he gives you, he gives you flash. That's what it was, yep. Um, okay, so we... I think we level up our, um... I think we have to level, level up our Lipard. To make sure we kill with... 
returned. I think it's what we have to do here. What flashes you? Yeah, so in the um there's an old man that flashes you in the in the city. Chaos control, thanks for the 18 months. Uh Metalize, thanks for the tier one. Uh, and Swaller Sphinx, thanks for the two dollars. Thank you. And also, hello. Um, yeah, so if we want to kill with return here, then I mean 39's not gonna cut it, right? Yeah. We have to get to level 40. Which would take to get Tranquil there? It might be faster. Oh, not even close. Tranquil doesn't even do like nearly enough damage. So. Yeah, so if we want to get Tranquil to actually like kill Leovanni, we'd have to get it to like 30, level 38, I think. And we can't fake out return because we're already using it for dwell. So, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go level up our life hard. Level forty. Oh boy! Oh boy! I can't wait, chat. Oh, we can't go this way. Oh. Yeah, because there's the, there's like no other way. I'm like, I, at least I, I can't see any other way. I think it's our, I, I think it's the least time consuming, like, assuming way. I, I legitimately think that's like the least time consuming way. Why can't you use Fake Out and Leovanni? Because it only works once. And we're using it on the Dwebble. All right, here we go. Level four, we're gonna have a level 40 Pokemon before the third gym. Isn't that insane? An interesting Kemner, thanks for the four months. Isn't that, isn't that ins like actually insane? Oh wait, do we have to? Yeah, we have DMC at first. And it has Silk Scarf, so we're all good to go. Very awesome. Yeah, so we just... Let's see how much uh, we get from these. Oh, that's actually, like, a lot. All right, that's fine. We'll be, we'll be good to go. Although Lipard is, like, gains... Does Lipard gain, like, less XP than, than Purloin? Is that true? More pipe walking! Let's go, dude! It should gain the same XP? Okay. I just wanna like double check. Evos have the same XP growth. Alright. So then so then we're totally fine to like Yeah, to, to have life part here. Okay, so level 40 we go. I'll take that. Is it uh Traded Pokemon ignoring... Doesn't Pokemon ignoring you only uh, account for traded? Yeah, I think it's only traded. Yeah, this gen gives you a bonus for Pokemon that are past their evolution? No, I think it's it's like a curve. Where it's like not as many. Like, apparently Gen 5 really hates when you level up your Pokemon faster than everything else. Yeah, it's only traded. Okay, until Sword and Shield. So, Sword and Shield... Did they do away with that? I remember I had a level 100 Pokemon before the second gym. With Sword and Shield. Which probably was not the best idea. But it also does speak to, like, you know... Gameplay design. Ow? Just, I, I just played some Raid Dens. And fed uh, XP candies. Like you can do that in like any uh like you can really do that in any game, right? Like all you need to do is just like grind. But it took me like three hours, four hours. I was just like watching like Survivor while doing it. What's he doing? Some manip? 
I'm, I, I'm happy that you think that I would be smart enough to do manipulation like that. Um, that doesn't exist for Gen 5 either. Uh, no, we're just finding autonos and then killing them. <laughs> That's it. We're leveling up our Lipard to level 40. So then we can beat the gym leader. The third gym leader. Well, there's something. Thanks for the seven dollars. Wasting money on my favorite streamer. <laughs> you don't have to give me money then. <laughs> Thank you though. Did I randomly encounter. I I totally did not see the Audino there. By the way. Meet the new strat. It's the same as the old strat, except we're gonna level up a little bit faster. Although I wonder. I guess we could get like Audino's in Castelia, right? That might be better. That doodle plush is so cute. I'm buying one right now. Oh no, who's gonna tell them? Who's gonna who's gonna do it? Okay, um our Lipard, I want an Audino. So what's the highest Audino I can defeat? 16, 18, 19, 22? 21, okay. Yeah, I um I promoted it heavily for for like I feel really bad. Well actually no, I, I it's it's <laughs> um I, I kinda feel bad. Um it's like half like um because I know I promoted it for literally like a full month on like every social. Like I blasted it so much it got annoying. And I felt and like immediately, like the day after it, it wasn't um available anymore. Like someone DM'd me and was like, hey, is the doodle blush available? I was looking forward to getting it. And I'm like, oof, oof. Will it come back? No, I, I said I said many times, no. <laughs> uh, at least not for the foreseeable future. So I was like, nah, it's, it's, it's either you get one now or you just don't get one, uh, you know. Yeah, so I, I just like look for Audino's here, right? This might give me more XP. Woo! 592? Dude, this is the way to go. Thanks, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Is this, is this working? Yeah, okay. And Eevee? Nah, Eevee's also no quick attack. And, uh, I'm not about to risk it all. Especially, like, we can't take damage, right? So, like, you can't... I'm not going to take a risk of trying to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> like, like, it's actually a huge risk of catching Pokemon. That's why we do it, like, immediately after a gym battle. Can we start a petition for you to bring back the Doodle Plush? No, I... I I don't think you guys realize like it's it's not like it's not like a petition where it's like oh I need you know motivation to get it or whatever no no it's like it's it was produced by a company and contractually it was basically they they wanted it to be only once so it's a limited run by a company which is makeshift so, I, I can't, unfortunately. I wish I could, but it, it's not like, oh, you know, we gotta we gotta rise up together. It's like, literally now, so. That's just like how they do their, their, their stuff. And uh, I took the deal, because it was actually a pretty good deal on my end. Ah, oh, there it is. Can you get um, Audino's in Dark Grass? Doing any merch soon? Yeah! Stay tuned for it. No. Wait, yes? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Do we do... Do we... Like, can you get Audino's and Darkgrass? Is it closed? Yes, it is closed. I will confirm that the next merch will be wearable. 
Oh, you don't think so? Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> A doodle suit? Dude, imagine, like, a full-on, like, tuxedo. A doodle tuxedo. Dude, I'd, I'd cry. Hey, level 38! All right, we got two left, guys. Taunt? No, keep old moves. Taunt's not good for this. Oh, I guess, you know, the, the bad part about this is that you can also, like, sometimes get Lapunnies. Although, I don't know how bad that is, you know? In Shaking Grass. visit Sequoia National Park. Yeah. Pretty big. It's pretty awesome. Would recommend. All right. Um, I'm going to now refresh our PP. There's a joke there. Um, I'm going to refresh our PP real quick. Um, and then uh, and then we'll just keep grinding. We're trying to get in case you're curious on what's happening. First off, welcome into the stream. If you're if you're new here, Welcome to the stream for uh, the first time. I just want to say, hey, thanks for stopping by, right? So thanks for being here. Second thing is uh, we are currently trying to beat the third gym. And to do that, we need to have our live hard be level 40. Why did my brain say sequoia these nuts? How does that make sense? <laughs> How does that one make sense? It does remind me of the, the Havit incident. You guys ever heard of that? You know, the, the Havit incident. I just wanna, I wanna make sure. The Hava incident? <laughs> Hava? <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Donnie Vega, thanks for the 510 bits. Got him. <laughs> Disco Rangers, thanks for the Prime Gaming, too. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Have you ever heard of the great Greek philosopher Euripides? No, but I have I have uh, heard that uh, um, they play Sea of Thieves. Do you guys like that game? Here's these balls fit in your mouth. <laughs> Got him. Have a nice day. Wait. <laughs> you guys ever heard of Ligma? <laughs> Have a nice day, balls. Got him. Whimsicott. Nice. I like Whimsicott. I think it's cute. Yeah, this is the entertainment you guys signed up for when you came to the stream. I hope you enjoy. I hope you realize this is this is what we've devolved into. Pokemon with Magic Pokemon with Magikarp only? That's gonna be tough. Yes. So if we reach the sub goal, we will be playing Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green with only a single Magikarp. However, um, I don't think you also know that it's going to be shiny. It's not like a hacked and shiny or anything. No, no, no. We're, we're getting a shiny magic card first. And then we're beating the game 
with the shiny magic card. Hey, level 39. All right, we just need one more level. This is going pretty fast, actually. Now that we can reliably beat, like, Audinos, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> also, hey, if you guys are enjoying the stream somehow, <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that, but if you are um, enjoying the stream, feel free to give a follow to the stream. Uh, so, uh, you know, you're notified of when we do uh, crazy stuff like this next. All that fun jazz. What's the goal? We're going to beat Pokemon Black 2 without taking any damage. What if I'm already followed? Uh, if you're already followed, check to see if you have a Twitch Prime. <laughs> check to see if your Prime Gaming is available. What? <laughs> And if, uh, what if I were to use my Prime? Um, then enjoy. <laughs> if you don't have Prime either, well, also enjoy. <laughs> and hey, you know, if you're not following the stream either, or if you're not Primed or anything like that, but you still are enjoying, I just want to say thanks. Um, why not? <laughs> so, uh, glad you're enjoying. That's all. It's, it's all it is. You know, I, I just, I just, I'm just happy that people like watching. All right, we're close to get. We're like halfway through 39 already. These audios are probably the way to go for the rest of the run. Like, it's actually pretty speedy uh, to, to level. Yeah, we are halfway. I think exactly with that one right there. It's actually pretty... It's getting pretty speedy to level, especially because we have, like, EXP shares. So when we need it later, we will, you know, do it. I just can't wait till we get to, like, one gym and we're like, oh, we can actually just beat the gym. Because a lot of this right now is being like, okay, we actually don't have the tools to beat gyms, but once we do have, like, said tools, that'll be, like, insane. Did you beat the third gym leader? No. <laughs> uh, we just need to, um, we need to be able to beat the Leovanni. Um, and our Pokemon aren't fast enough, so with the one Pokemon that is fast enough, it's just easier to level like this, you know? Unreal, thanks for the three months. And James Anthony, thanks for the, uh, gift and sub. There, am I missing a... No, I guess they're not spawning anymore. Thank you for that. What's the point of running back and forth? It, it spawns in the, uh, um, the shaking grass. So, like, every step you take, every uh, move I make, I'll be watching you. Wait, no. Um, every step you take, you have, like, a chance to have some shaking grass. As you can see, there's no shaking grass. So, once we move a whole bunch... Um, then, the, uh, uh, you'll see one, uh, spawn. Sorry, I just got, I got song lyrics there. <laughs> we channel my inner Northern Lion and just randomly quote songs. Level 40! Let's go! Okay! Level 40 it is! And that means, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a chance of actually beating this gym leader. You see, the unfortunate part about um, Audino training is I believe they give HP EVs, which is really not ideal at all. But, you know, figure it out. Spooper, thanks for these six months in advance. Oh my god, half a year in one sub. Thank you. That's above and beyond. Okay, so let's finally do it. Let's beat the third gym. Oh my god. That was semi, thanks for the three months. If 
My friends already max EVs? Probably, yeah. Um. So we're gonna open with K13, I think. Right, because he opens with Sawaddle. Here we go. Dude, I'm dude, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous for this dude. What if he throws Leah Vanny before Dwebble? Think about that. He won't. No, he won't. Because uh, we're going to have Growlithe first. And he's going to try to throw in Dwebble. Uh, because Dwebble has a uh, move that's um, uh, super effective. So Dwebble will be first. Like, Dwebble is guaranteed to be first. Or second. Second, sorry. Are you sure? I'll be real with you guys? No. No, I'm not. But... <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. I love that. I think it's a risk that we're going to have to take. Whoa! So I just want to see it again. Oh, that's so sick. He's painting the inside of his cocoon. Okay, well, he opens up with um, Swadloon first. Okay. So we keep K13 in. Dude, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on. Let me brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are, are so cute. It's resilient and reliable. That little thing has beady little eyes from the depths of hell. I swear. This thing will be the end of me. My ace is Leovanny. It's really the best. Is it now? <laughs> I think, I think we have different definitions of best. Um, it's the best at being really annoying. <laughs> I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well, let's get right into it. Cletus Connor, thanks for the tier two. All right. Thanks, Berg. <laughs> Woo! All right, opens a Swadloon. So with Swadloon, here's here's how we do it. All right, here's what we've prepped for this entire time. So I'm going to Flame Wheel here. We're faster than Swadloon, and we one-shot it with 100% accuracy. Okay, so we gain XP. That's awesome. That's cool. But now, he's going to send in Dwebble. So we're going to switch... To Lipard, and the reason why we've gotten Lipard all the way up to level 40 is just for this fight. Okay, hopefully this works. So, Dwebble has Sturdy, and so it prevents one hit KOs. So, our solution is to use Fake Out, and Fake Out won't kill. However, if Fake Out is used as the first move, as a 100% shot of flinching. So Dwebble now can't get one shot. <laughs> and then we use Night Slash to finish it off. There we go. There we go. <laughs> We're too over leveled and only gave us 200 XP. And we got a crit too. All right, all right. So now Leo Vanny is the, the fastest Pokemon. And so another reason why we're level 40 is so we can use the move Return. Wait, and we're also holding a Silk Scarf, which increases Return's move by uh, 1.2 times. So use Return with max happiness to kill the Leo Vanny 
and we go first. Oh! And it was... Let's go! And it was a crit! Crit mattered, by the way! <laughs> so, so if I knew it was supposed to double crit, we could have done this so much sooner. <laughs> We'd have to spend, like, eight hours. Oh my god. Alright, well, we've beaten the third gym now. Ooh, yeah, you're very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise I lost. Here, take this insect badge. I think it'll suit you. You know what that means. We finally get to save. Oh my god. We got the insect badge. The insect badge suits you even better than I thought it would. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including trading Pokemon. And you know what? I'll give you this. Struggle bug. Struggle bug also lowers the special attack of target that was damaged, and the best guy to tell you this, it's the little things that count. <laughs> you, you good, man? <laughs> it's, it's, is that what I thought? No, it's about how you uh, use... It's about how you use your insect badge. How you use it. It's not how large your insect badge is. It's... It's, um... Uh, what you use it for. and how. Alright, let's continue, man. File. Save. Yes! Oh my god! Dude, like, you have no idea, like, the, the amount of stress of just not saving for that entire time. We're literally saved now. Alright, fourth gym. What's next, right? Six hours per badge. Let's go. <laughs> Pog champ, am I right, guys? Oh my god. I'm gonna scream. All right. Uh, let's go heal. Because you know how absolutely treacherous our Pokemon is right now. But okay, let's let's do the the PP. Used the wrong hole. You could have had a shortcut if you used the other hole. Hey, what can I say? It's just a loophole. It's the um back door, as it were. You know, it's the, it's... wanted to take the front door. In case you were curious, the reason why I took that one is normally because. It might be lower than you're expecting. Calamity Brent, thanks for the three months. Alright, so uh now that we've beaten the third gym, are there anything is there anything important that we really need to get uh in um uh, you know, oh we need to talk to Iris, that's what it is. Um, is there anything important that we need to get in, in this? Probably not, right? The bike? We already got the bike. Hey, Otter! Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Oh, Iris is no longer here. Okay. I guess, um... We go forward? Yeah, we already got the EXP share, too. Get some ice cream. <laughs> Oh, we need to catch some Pokemon. That's right. Also, there's you up here. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you again. If it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? Stranger danger! Stranger danger! No. Are you sure? But this is for science. Oh, how interesting. Your Growlithe... You just, you just took my... You just took my Pokemon. Okay. Um, and you're trained with merely three badges. Hey, I'll have you know, I spent so much time getting these badges. Fantastic. I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colress. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Awesome. 
bring out the power of Pokemon? Is it possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers? Or is it some other different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. No, no you don't. <laughs> no, you don't want to battle, <laughs> please. <laughs> Do you find this acceptable? No. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4, just beyond here. Saved. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's a benevolent god. Who has allowed us the freedom of choice. Luluzi Britan Britannia. Thanks for the seven... Sorry, nine months. What did I just... I can't read today. Um. Oh, I mean, Route 4 is up here, right? I actually wanted to look at Route 4. Uh, particularly. Because uh, Route 4, I think, might be a little precarious for us. No? Oh, there's no sandstorm here. I thought there was going to be a sandstorm. Oh. Right, because they were doing a bunch of constructions. Um... Are you a uh, trainer? Oh, trainer, when you see sand, do you notice how some areas are lighter and some sand darks darker? That's what it is. Um, and what's over here? Oh, actual, all right, sandstorm and stuff. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I'm such a dumbass. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> what's the matter? You're interested in what's behind me? These folk are not, not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crystal. <laughs> Observe. With this device to, I created to energize Pokemon, I'll... Oh, whoa. Whoa! That's cool. Those Crustle, were they just lying here? Out of energy, with their boulders on their backs? Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. I think of it, I never asked your name. Grill. I'll remember that name. Well then, I will test to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden power of Pokemon. I'm not prepared for this, I'll be real with you. Oh. Magnemite. Nice. If I recall... Doesn't Magnemite have Sturdy? I guess our only hope is a flame wheel, and then he misses, and then it burns? Never mind. Oh, it burned? Oh my god, dude. I was like, dude. <laughs> Alright, I had a reset. <laughs> Question, did Magnet- what was- what's Magnet Bomb's accuracy? I'm, I'm just curious, what is it? Wrong hole again? Oh. You know what? Oh, it's 100. Can't miss. Okay, never mind then. We weren't. We weren't gonna. Okay, sorry. Is this a better hole to go out? Was that more pleasurable? Stupid. All right, well, we can just beat him outright, I think. I'm pretty certain we can just do this. I'm going to go into this blind again. Yeah, Colres, I'm going to say yes and all that. All right, cool. We can only go Route 4 regardless. Yeah, I think we actually just beat him. Yeah, we'll do the fake out strat like we did last time. So, I, I mean, like, it, I'm, I'm happy that we have Lipard. Is there... Question. Twitch chat. Actually, actual question. Is there a situation coming up with Sandstorm?
Yes, okay. We'll figure that out then. Can't. All right, and then you have Clink next. No, we'll keep battling. Oh, we should have used Flame Wheel for Clink. I mean, it's fine, I'll just use Night Slash again. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, chat. You're welcome. You're welcome. So glad it could do that, right? Oh, man. Well, we have a, a smooth 160 resets, right? It's, ni it's a nice number. We can't get any more than 169 though. That's like, it's, that's not, that's not allowed. I... I fucked up. <laughs> 161, because I'm an idiot. Let's go. Waffle, thanks for the Prime Gaming. I predict 420 resets by the end of the run. Oh god, I hope not. Alright, here we go. So Magnemite, okay, fake out with Ragmite, and then after that we use Night Slash, okay, and then he sends out Clink. And then I switch to K13. Easy. And then I flame wheel here. First try, dude. First try. Splendid. You're quite the trainer. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I see! Just like the gym leaders in each area, or the Elite Four and the Champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them. That's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. 13. Nice. Oh. Sorry. I... It's so frustrating! If only we could talk to Pokemon in order to bring out their power. There's no way a person like that could ever exist. Well then, Grill. I hope to see you again sometime. Um, do I go up more? I'm nervous. This is to the next town, I know that. Oh, what is- whoa, what is this? Join Avenue? Cool, okay. What should I do? I can't even possibly manage everything. Okay. Hello there. Hello. Welcome to Join Avenue. We don't have anything yet, as you see, so it's just an avenue at this point. Where my manners allow me to introduce myself. I'm the owner of Join Avenue. My dream is to go around the world building on the avenues that bustle with lots of people. The problem is, I have no one I can trust to manage the avenue. Something just struck me. You seem to be the trainer traveling around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over the region, don't you? Um, I know it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? I really need you to help me. You know what that means, don't you? No. 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 Yes! Fine! Jeez. Thank you so much. Alright, tell me what kind of person you are. What would you be your favorite phrase that you use to greet everyone? Warning, the words you're about to enter may be sent to other players. Please consider them carefully. Um. Oh, uh, what 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 should uh what should we what should we have for um our thing here? 
I'll be family friendly because I'm a family friendly streamer. Subscribe. <laughs> That's a great line. What would you say when something truly moves your heart? You want something to choose something universal. A phrase that anyone will understand, you know. Warning, the words you're about to enter may be sent to other players. Something that inspires people. Sorry, no, um. Prime. <laughs> Subscribe Prime. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Feels dank, man. <laughs> Straw man, me, bro. Thanks for the 10 months. Reached double digits. Hell yeah. You guys feel inspired? Broad, thanks for the three months. I knew it. You are the one. Who else could be so well suited to managing the avenue? Sir, it's almost time for your next appointment. Oh, I almost forgot. My assistants. Abby. Oh. All right, she's not here right now. <laughs> she's she's on vacation. <laughs> oh, Sag. Uh, you heard me. I leave now, so please support our newest manager. Yes, sir. Please take care of yourself. Rago, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Pleased to meet you. How should we address you? No, no, no. Um... How should they address me? <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> now that you're the one to manage the development of the avenue, Please turn it into a wonderful attraction where many people visit. I'll explain how to develop the avenue, so please talk to me when you're ready. To make it more attractive, you want useful city improvements. For example, shops. Or if you make a shop, you'll need someone who has a dream. You have to invite that person to join the avenue. Speaking of invitations, someone's coming this way. Why don't you invite that person? Build a shop first. You need to talk to the person that have to invite that person so you can have the person build a shop. Well, hope he figures it out. Alright, so what's like here? It's online stuff? Okay. Hi, I'll mimic a Pokemon sound. Please listen. Yes. I'll mimic the sound of the Pokemon you're with. Pokemon was it? Live hard. Close, too bad. That was Dewat. Fuck. Oh, that one's tranquil. That one's easy. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that one's easy. Alright, that one's live hard. That's okay. That one is tranquil for sure. What? Okay, that's Growlithe. Okay, it's Growlithe. That one is Growlithe. I remember it from before. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're fine. You can recognize the sounds of the Pokemon you always hear, right? Yeah, I recognize it. Yeah. Thanks for playing with me. This is a small gift. A toy. Yay. Oh, what's up, policeman? People say they are brats, but they're just hanging out. Never judge a book by its cover. I really hope that was a bit. 
Yeah, that was definitely a bit. I was pretending for sure. Uh, if I'm with a big Pokemon, I, even I look slim. Hi, welcome. Well, there's nothing here. Oh, okay. You know, on Thursday, some Pokemon fly here. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what does a Poketoid do? Um, an item that attracts Pokemon, use it to flee from any battle with a wild Pokemon. Mm, you're a trainer with quick eyes. I'll give you these. Citrus berries. Okay. Uh, that might come in handy, uh, useful. Uh, that might come in handy, uh, later when we need to get money. Because <laughs> they don't, it's, we don't need anything. I want to trade your cottony for my petil. I, uh, pet, petalo. I, I don't, nope. Sandstorms are terrible, but rock, ground, and steel type Pokemon can weather a sandstorm without damage. Even when I feel sad, looking at my Pokemon's cute round eyes makes my sad feeling go away. Aw. And then we got a wide lens. Do you take out, like, like a, like a magnifying glass on your Pokemon's eyes? Right, that made it a little weirder, man. That made it uh, just a tiny bit weirder. Um, there we go over here. Very particular about the speed of Pokemon. That's why I'm wondering if you have any Pokemon with a speed of 112 or greater. I do not. Uh, I think our current speed is 108, though. I'm current particular about Pokemon attack stat. Okay. Um, I move here because I heard this place would be developed more. I love this place. It's very convenient because it's close to both Castilia and Nimbasa. Oh, yeah. What does a wide lens do anyways? Slightly boosts the accuracy. With what? Like, what? what's, like, 10%? Speedrunner with not enough speed get wrecked. This construction won't be finished. Guys like them, hang around. It's 10%. Okay. So 90% accurate moves. Oh, so it will never make something, like, 100% accurate. So I don't know if that's totally useful. It can, like, help our odds a ton, but, you know. All right, so you guys say go through the Join Avenue. Oh, unless it's 95% accurate. Yeah, yeah. When I pass by people, I eagerly wait the opening of a new store and Join Avenue. This is cool. Is this a rival battle? It's a multi battle? Oh, we might as well get that like out of the way now. Or no. Wait, is it required? It's not required. But the gym is here. Yeah, the fourth gym's right here, isn't it? So... Uh, Shining Roller Coaster... Oh, it's the former gym. Okay. Hello. Ride this roller coaster for the first step is in the car. Oh, wait, but there's, there's, um, there's opponents still. Yikes. All right, so if we go up here then, this is where the gym is? No, wait, this isn't the gym. This is the musical, Pokemon, yeah, musical theater. You guys say over here? Oh, it's also required. Oh, it's to the right of the old gym. Okay. So it's here. Oh, no, it's farther. Oh, whoa. Oh, are you a challenger, perhaps? I'm very sorry. The gym leader is out right now. I know where she went, though. She should be in the building where you can ride the roller coaster. It's by the entrance to the music park. Okay. So we have to... Wait, she's... Yeah, so we still have to go in here anyways, right? 
Like, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. It might be a good idea to catch a Pokemon. In case. Um, I mean, we can check everything. But we have a Sandstorm segment coming up, right? So we might as well, like, catch, like, a ground or rock type. Catch a sand dial? What's the, like, what's the convenience of a sand dial over, like, a timber? Like, which one's better? Oh. Oh, is timber not... Oh. Um... Okay, so here's what Sandile can learn. It can learn- Oh, it can- It can learn Earthquake? Yo. Okay, okay. I see where you're coming from. Moxie's, uh, Crocodile. The Crocodile level 40. So we might delay slightly. Intimidate or Moxie. Uh, Moxie would be really good to sweep here. With, especially with, like, Earthquake for double battles. Sand, t Sand Tomb does hit twice, too. No, 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 Sand Tomb hits once. I was thinking of Rock Tomb, I think. So what, we got a level 43 Sand Isle with Moxie? So I think we go, what, sand, we get a sand dial, right? All right, so let me look up where we're at right now. So let's say like route four. I wanna catch it first before we go anywhere else um, because we have um, not the best odds of catching Pokemon because we have to catch it first try and we need to make sure that we, yeah, we just need to catch it first try. And every time we don't catch it, we have to reset. So we might as well do that now, you know? Remember that Emolgas do have quick attack? Yeah, but we'll need the sand dial anyways, right? Like the speed too, the Emolgas are really fast. Yeah, but like, I mean, for everything else, it's not Emolgas, you know? Um, okay, so in route four, in the deep sand, we can get a level 17 sand dial. That seems worth it. That seems really worth it. Excadrill, though? What, like get a Drillbur instead? Do you think it would get a Sand Dial or Drillbur? Because we can get a Drillbur, I think, right? Um, game locations, uh, relic passes. Yeah, we can. I mean, it doesn't have like Drillbird doesn't have Moxie though. Mold breaker Drillbur. You can't get mold breaker. Like, like, I can't... You literally can't get Mold Breaker anymore. This is a hidden ability. Exodrill's reliant on Sandstorm to outspeed. What's its speed stats looking like? You're right. Uh, speed 68 versus... Um, 65? It's actually faster. Where's a better late game sweeper, I think. Okay, so Drillbur or Sand Dial, guys? What do you think? Tell me your give me your uh give me your best opinions here. 
Does Extra Drill also learn Earthquake? It does. Uh, Sand Rush or Sand Force? It's Ground Steel type. Sand Rush, the speed stat of the Pokemon is doubled during a Sandstorm. Sand Force, during a Sandstorm, increases the power of Rock type moves forever. Sand Dial with Moxie is so good. Who's faster, though? 88 speed versus a Crocodile. Ninety-two. The crocodile's faster as well. All right, everyone says it looks like everyone says sand dial. Then I think we go sand dial. A crocodile but in sand yes <laughs> you over level speed doesn't matter it does matter somewhat because even if you over level speed does matter like you're not like there's there's cases in which like i'm not amazing or like like for example like the leo vanny right there even though we were over leveled we didn't outspeed We want to get a crooked out here, right? We beat the fourth gym yet? Bro, we we barely even gotten in like the <laughs> Bro, We barely gotten the uh third gym. All right, so we're looking for a level 17 sandile. Not here. This is level this is route 4, isn't it? Desert Resort, it's level 22. Wait, so is Desert Resort up here? What we were talking about? Like, up here. Oh, gotcha. Alright, but we have to run from all of these, yeah. Level 19 Sand Dial. Is that the max? Let me double check here. As a resort, we can get up to level 22. It also has Intimidate. Yeah, true, you're right. We want it, We want one with Moxie, not Intimidate. All right, so that one has Intimidate, or that one has Moxie, but that one's also level 18. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. What about the Sandstorm? We just need to catch it. That's it. We just, like, we just need to catch it. We're not going to take damage as long as we catch it, and we catch it first try. Wait, do we have access to Ultra Balls? I don't think so, right? We shouldn't. Where's our balls? Oh, Pokeball. Oh, I actually don't have a Great Ball. I need Quick Balls. Do we have, yeah, do we have access to Quick Balls? I don't think we do. Um, we'll go up here. Look down. Where's our balls? I hate you guys. Um, there's the Pokemon Center. All right. So if we can get quick balls, we should get quick balls. No, we only have great balls. Like, we can only get great balls. We got a couple more. We don't really need to spend many money on many of them, either. Check the other guy. No, the other guy doesn't sell them, does he? Yeah, no, he just sells, like, TMs and stuff. Oh, I don't want to go in there yet. You can find one in Castellia, but I don't know where yet. Okay. Oh, I 
do you hate us? I don't hate you guys. What do you mean? So we just want to go up here to the desert resort and then now search for this specific high leveled sand dial. Okay. We're in the third gym city in Castellia. Okay. I mean, we should be fine anyways. I'm pretty sure we can catch it, right? Like what are, what are the odds of catching a full level, a full level 22 sand dial? With a great ball. I guess it's what is it here let's let's do this instead that's not what i wanted to do there we go 45 percent okay we, we got a coin flip here then we basically got a coin flip Getting a bearded dragon on Friday, Point Crow. She's all gray. Any name suggestions? Oliver. You should name. Uh, you should name her Oliver. Or Olivia, if you if you prefer uh, feminine. Broccoli, thanks for the gift of sub. We'll take into consideration. Okay, I think, no, I understand. You don't like my suggestion. You take that as a no. No, I, I get that. I get that. What you trying to catch? A level 22 sand dial with Moxie. Well, actually, you know what? I'll take a level 21. I feel like it won't take too much time. I'll take a level 21 sand dial with Moxie. Do I take a 19? Do we go with the 19? Nah, probably 20. Nah, probably 20. Not worth it. Next level is 19, by the way. Um, I don't believe so. I think we just saw a level. I think it's 22. Oh, it's level 22 is for black white, not black white 2. Oh, 19 is the max level. Oh. Well, shit. Uh, that one had, uh, Intimidate. Alrighty. That was my bad. And you know if it has Moxie, does the game tell you? Um, if it has Intimidate, the game will tell us it has Intimidate. Like, right there. So, the game told us Intimidate, so if it doesn't tell us it has Intimidate, it has Moxie. Intimidate activates, like, on Encounter. Right, now I can't now I can't encounter level 19s. Now it's literally 18s only. Dude. Any level 19s? Oh my god. I'm going to scream. Maractus was level 19? No, stop. I want a level 19 sand dial specifically. Or one without intimidate. You catch it if it's a shiny? If it's a shiny, I run. No, I kill it actually. Just for pain. I wonder what I, I feel like we have a, a high shot of like actually finding a shiny too in this challenge. We beat Berg, yeah, we did. There it is, level fuck, but it has intimidate. <laughs> no, no. Oh, nineteen. 
It has Intimidate. I, I swear, dude. Oh my god. A level 19. Please. With Moxie. What does Moxie do? It increases uh, attack um, every single time you get a kill. Can we use Fake Out to try to make the HP lower? We could. By the way, we found it. We could do that. Um, but then we take damage from the Sandstorm. And here we go. We have a coin flip. Please work, please work, please work. Two, three. Oh! Don't hit. Wait, no, oh, wait, no. Oh! It was so close, too. Alright guys, let's reset. I feel pain. I feel pain! I cry. I cry. Alright, 162! Give it up for 162! Are you only allowed to save after gym leaders? Yes. Yeah, we have to fight Cole Rest again. But that's fine. Yeah, I think I swapped, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. We should be good. This should be okay. Um, all right, so we'll switch to K13. And then we should be fine. Right, so you, you give us your protein, that's kind of sus, but you know, whatever. All right, and then we go over here. Okay, uh, and then we encounter uh, level 18 sand battle, okay. But now we just need to catch it again. The, the higher level Pokemon that we're going to be encountering, like, later in, in life, the, um... Fuck, oh, it has Intimidate. Uh, the harder it's going to be to, to acquire new Pokemon. With the Great Balls? I do have Great Balls, yeah. Right, so if I bag... Yeah, I have Great Ball. Uh, We need to level 19, because I don't want to level up from level 18 to 19. The less levels we have to level, the better we have. The more time we have, basically. Fuck. And we want it specifically with Moxie, not Intimidate. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go for the level 18. Screw it. One, two, three. All right, we got a sand owl. <laughs> That'll definitely help later. That'll definitely help. All right, uh, nickname. What should we name the sand owl? Has to be some sort of government agency or uh, lettering nickname, some acronym. It's a crocodile. Oh, so it's so good as CIA then, or NSA. Oh, that's that makes it. Yeah, CIA is like really good for it then.
All right, let's take a look at the stats then, too. All right, so what kind of crocodile are you? It's Rash, which means plus special attack minus special defense. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It is a physical attacker, though, isn't it? We'll take it. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So we got a Sand Nile because that's that's a Pokemon that we're going to um, need for later, at least. I was so nervous that you were a trainer. Its highest IV is HP as well. Is it now? Um, all right, so we caught it and everything. Um, let's, let's see about the gym. Let's, let's actually see about this gym. Uh, what do we need to, like, take over this gym? Uh, this next gym. It's, it's, um, Nimbasa, was it? Nimbasa, right? Uh, Nimbasa City, and it's like the roller coaster. Um... Hi, Moranth. Thanks for these six months. What do you call it? Like, it's the, um... Like, what, what is the, uh... What's the name of it? Theme park? No, it's like... It's just Nimbasa Gym. It's the, it's the next, it's the X gym. Yeah, like, what do you call it? It's like the roller coaster? I guess so. Yeah, in black and white too, it's different. Oh, but there's the old gym right here. Yeah. So th here's the old gym and here's the new gym. Uh, okay, so the old gym has a Blitzel at level 24. Can we just beat that? <laughs> Blitzel, level 24. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we can. And we're also, we also outspeed with our Lipard. Okay. Blitzel can quick attack. Can it quick attack? Can Blitzel, does Blitzel quick attack? Yes. Okay, maybe we can't kill it then. Uh, but we do have Fake Out, though. Fake Out's priority. And you only have one Pokemon here. So if we get Lipard to, like... 43? Yikes. Yeah, Fake Out needs to kill, though. Um, And Flaffy as well. Level 24 Flaffy. Yeah, we can't even kill that. So, uh, will Fla does Flaffy uh, use Quick Attack as well? I don't think he does, right? Like, if we, we can beat Flaffy with anything. Yeah, okay, sick. So, the Blitzel, we just need to kill it before Quick Attack. But it has Static. Yeah, Static just paralyzes it, which is fine. Um, and there are only one Pokemon each. So, then... What about Aqua Jet on Osha? It's not going to do what? It's, it's not going to be effective, right? Even if we had Aqua Jet. On, like, the Blitzel. Level 24. Yeah, it's not even going to be close to killing. Twilight Sunflower, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Extreme speed level. I mean, I guess I could, like, see about that. Ground type with CIA. Yeah, but we don't have priority with CIA, with the Sand Dial. Like, Sand Dial doesn't know any priority moves. Um, Growlithe, right? Ground negates lightning. Yeah, but once again, quick attack. Get Sucker Punch. All right, let me check the Growlithe first. So Growlithe um, gets 
Stream speed. Wait, does Growl? No. Growl doesn't get um, extreme speed. Arcanine gets extreme speed though. Uh, Arcanine gets extreme speed upon level 34. Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. Right? So if we extreme speed level 34, would that kill? It's normal type though. So Arcanine... Level 34 is the base that we have to be at. Um, I don't care what nature you're at, anything. Extreme speed. Does extreme speed kill a Blitzel at level 24? It does! It does! A silk scarf for it? No, but 34 is the minimum, um, minimum level uh, to learn extreme speed. So we have to be at 34. Ultraviolet Winters, thanks for the five months. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Do we have a Firestone? Or do we have the ability to get a Firestone? Get the level up to level 34 for Flamethrower. Oh, true. I can't throw that out. I can't really throw that out yet. So 34 is extreme speed. No, but we can buy Flamethrower, right? As a TM. What are we missing out? We're missing out on Flare Blitz. Does that do recoil? It does have recoil, so we don't care about that. Um, we are missing out on Heat Wave, Outrage, and Flamethrower. Can we... Is there TMs for Outrage? Or... Heat Wave? What's up, Sam? How's it going? Like, Outrage made you... Oh, right. Outrage does make me confused. Um, Heat Wave? Are we missing out on that? I don't know. I just don't want to... I don't want to miss out, you know? Heat Wave can miss... Oh, I mean... Okay. So, Outrage, Heat Wave don't matter. Crunch is Dark Type, but we already have Lipard. With Night Slash. So, we're fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, retaliate. At 32, is that worth using? Uh, inflicts damage and space battle doubles from 7 to 40, 140 if the Pokemon from the user's party has fainted in the previous turn, which won't ever work. Which won't ever happen. So we'll have like retaliate, but oh no, but retaliate's just like a worse return then. Because return's 102 base. And extreme speed's 100. And with priority. Yeah, so level up, so growl up to 34 and then evolve. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Do we do Growlithe to 34 and then Firestone? I think that's what we do. So where do we get the Firestone from? Here, let me let me uh, look that up too. In the desert resort. So Desert Resort, if we take a look, um, has a Firestone south of Backpacker Tammy, hidden. Where the hell is Backpacker Tammy? <laughs> where, where, where's Backpacker Tammy? You know, my bestie, T Backpacker Tammy. Oh, so Backpacker Tammy is north of the Firestone? Oh, thank you. And you go up to the, wait. I just want to make sure where Backpacker Tammy is. She has a drill bird and everything. 
far west side. Okay. I want to get the Firestone before we start leveling up and everything. Um, we go here. Northwest Desert Resort. Oh, we have to we have to keep Sandile open. We can't battle anybody. Uh, okay. And then Desert Resort's up here. Like, even more so. Yes, okay. This is even more so Desert Resort. And I know you heal my Pokemon up there, but I don't care about you. South of Backpacker Tammy. This is Pokemon... That's Pokemon Ranger Jaden. <laughs> oh! No! No! Oh, God! Arumaka? Okay. You're fire type, at least. We're ground type, so we'll have some effectiveness against you. We are level 18, though. Uh, you will take damage with the Sandstorm. Um, we do have Sand Tomb. Darimaka has chances to miss. Hey, guys. Oh my god. All right, I'm tired. It's it's uh been 3 hours. I've actually I actually have a small headache. Um so I wanted to end soon anyways. Um <laughs> But uh yeah, um we beat the third gym today, which is awesome. Um hell yeah. So next time we stream this will be on Monday, so next Monday, uh where we probably can we'll probably beat the fourth gym and maybe the fifth too. Like we're the 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 more we do this, the faster it goes, um, because we get we acquire more and more tools to use, like extreme speed and you know all these levels and stuff, right? Um, so thanks for stopping by. If you haven't followed the stream yet, feel free to follow the stream. I go live Sunday through Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. I will be streaming tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Undertale, my first playthrough of Undertale. Um, so I'm excited for that. I hope you guys, um, enjoy.